everybody so i just started with my jars i had them pre-labeled because i already knew what colors and fragrances i was going to put into each jar and i had that done before my beads came in so i was ready to go when they got there i have my fragrance oil i've got a couple of um one ounce bottles for mixing and then my larger two ounce bottles that will be split into two separate colors and will go into making one freshie Okay, so here I am trying to scoop the beads into the jars and um, this was a fail. They fell everywhere, so I had to switch it up a little bit. All right, so I'm just using my hand to kind of cover the top of the cup so that the beads don't fall over the edge of the jar or bounce out of the jar. Um, I bought a funnel for it, but completely forgot about it. Um, so my hand worked just as well to get the jars filled. Here, all my jars are filled. About a cup and a half of aroma beads went into each one, except for the smaller one with the for the cow's nose that will be pink. We're gonna add the mica powder. I got these off of Amazon in a pack of 25 different colors. This is going to be the white part of the cow's fur, so I didn't wasn't looking to really change the color of the beads. I just wanted a more metallic, shiny finish to them. So two small scoops. A little of this stuff goes a long way. I'm adding the pink mica powder to the cow's nose. These are gonna be pretty light, and since there are less beads in the jar, I just did one small scoop of the pink. Moving on to the cow's ears and kind of the sides of its face. I went with a copper color, wanted it to be a little bit brown, a little metallic. Um, I did want this one to be darker, so I did two larger scoops into this jar. Now time for the fun part, adding the fragrance oil. So since I was going to make one freshie out of these three different jars, I really wasn't that worried about getting the fragrance oil perfectly even throughout um, because I was gonna be using all three colors to make one single freshie. I just kinda eyeballed it, got them as even as possible. Once you've added your mica powder and your fragrance oil, you can start shaking. Shake it up real good to distribute all of the fragrance oil and color around to the beads evenly. Here, I'm gonna shake the pink up. You can see how quickly everything kind of moves around. And in this one, you can see the pooling at the bottom, which is good. You wanna see some of that fragrance oil and the bottom kind of puddled up. Make sure that you've got enough in there for your beads to really soak up a lot of that fragrance. I went ahead and added the mica powder to each jar. Wanted to give you an overhead view of approximately how much I put into each jar. And again, this is a cup and a half of aroma beads in each one. Now I've added the fragrance oil to each jar. You can see in the bottom how it's pooling in each one. This is how it should look before you start shaking. Now I've shaken each jar, gotten everything evenly distributed. It's, they've been kind of sitting there for a minute, some of them in the front. So you can see that the oil once again has started to pool in the bottom of some of the jars. This is why you have to keep shaking them over time. Another view of all the colors, how pretty they came out. I'm really happy with this result. So it's been about a day and a half and all of my aroma beads have soaked up that fragrance oil. When you shake the jar now, they're dry, that's not sticking to the sides anymore and they're ready to go into the cookie cutters. 
This is the fun part because you get to get creative. You get to play around with the colors and different shapes and have fun with it.
now that they're all filled, it's time to go in the oven. I put mine on 350 and they bake for eight minutes, but every oven is different. So just watch them and make sure that you don't burn them, but also make sure that they are cooked all the way through. And you'll know by the way that the center of the freshie looks right out of the oven. So you can see here, they look much more sparkly. It's because they've kind of got like a wet or a glazed appearance to them when they are done baking. All right, so you're gonna want them to completely cool before you start trying to take them from the cookie sheet or out of the cookie cutters. This could take about 20 to 30 minutes. This was the hardest part for me because I was super anxious to, you know, really get them out of there and see how they turned out. Um, I'm, I'm just naturally an impatient person. So the cooling process really, um, I mean, I just go back and check them every five to 10 minutes, but it does take a little while to allow them to completely cool. So I've added in an extra step, um, part of the decoration process. I'm just using fabric puff paint um, to do a little leopard print design on the pot of these cactus. So here are just a few of my final products after I have decorated and done a couple little embellishments to some of them. Now I bought five pounds of the aroma beads, 10 ounces of fragrance oil, and it made about 47 of these freshies. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.